which has love for colors. Colors play a very important role in our lives as it defines our, our well-being and our mood. Color plays a very important role in defining our moods. Some color makes us feel happy, some color makes us feel sad, some energizes us and some put us into depression. And all of us have our own favorite color for our own special reasons. Have you ever entered a room, seen a flower and felt something nice? And did you realize the reason is because of the color of the flower? An evening walk in a garden refreshes your mind. The reason? Again, the color of the nature. A rainbow up in a, when it rain, when, on a sunny day when it rains. And you all feel happy seeing the rainbow. The reason again is the color of the rainbow. And color plays a very important role in differentiating one object from the other object. And color has a very impact on our mood and our behaviors. And each and every color has its own importance and significance. Whereas white signifies as peace, red for happiness, green for nature, and black for evil. Likewise, the list goes on. Whenever, if you th uh, can you ever imagine a world to be colorless? Without colors, how would the world look like? And if you are thinking it can be black and white, then you are wrong. It cannot even be black and white because black and white are also colors. And I've always been hearing that pink color is for girls and blue color is for boys. And I wondered why is that conclusion or from where is this being concluded? So I made a research. I went back, browsed the net and found that very recent research in 2007 where a group of scientists gathered and made a study for this. So they call the participants of both male and female with a generation with the age gap of 20 to 26. They all were called, made to sit in a research place. They all had a monitors with a and in the front of the monitor screen they displayed a rectangle box with a mixture of colors. So the neurologist present there, they divided the rectangle box into two halves, that is two spectrums, to make a better understanding. So the two spectrum had a shade, so one was with green and red, the other was blue and yellow. So both two spectrums were displayed to the participants. So now the participants were asked to choose one of the spectrum from the two which is displayed to them. And very quickly they found that most of the people present there opted for the blue and the yellow spectrum. And now the scientists asked those participants to pick one color from the mixed group of colors, that is the blue and yellow spectrum, what they had, they had to pick one color from the spectrum. And very quickly, an interesting result came out that most of the men present there, they opted for the blunt colors of the spectrum where blue was there. And the women present there, they opted for the rare end of the spectrum where had colors like red, pink or lilas were found. So thus, they concluded the long health theory of colors where pink is for girls and blue is for boys holds good. And now, we always hear people say that we should always wear dark color clothes in winter and light clothes in summer. But why again? As sun acts as a reflector on the color and when it reflects us, it keeps us cool calm and reflect, it becomes a play. So you are supposed to wear a reflecting color, a plain color in summer to keep yourself away from the heat and in a winter you need the more warmer things so you should work for dark color clothes as it acts as an observant. And the very interesting one, if you are a little fat or a bigger, you want to look slim, you should always go for darker color clothes because dark color clothes makes you feel, look, make, make, you can get a feel like you can become thin looking and you can have a dark color shades like black, blue or grey. If you want to look a little slimmer and if you want to look a little bigger, you should always wear light color clothes like cream or white. But again, you cannot put all these colors in your wardrobe. You cannot have all set of dark colors or not a set of all white colors in your wardrobe. It would really look awkward. So it's better to have light and dark color shades combination in your wardrobe so that 
that it keeps a balance of the way you look. While I was making all this research, I got few in nice facts about colors. Let me share them with you guys. Coming for red, it is always believed that women can have can see more shades of red when compared to men. But why? The scientists have found out that females have more number of X chromosomes when compared to men, and the red color is a presentant of X chromosomes. So females can differentiate more shades of red when compared to men. And blue color. In 17th century, when there was a research, they found that 40 percentage of the people in 17th century liked only blue color, and the color which he, which they hated was white. And then. Uh, the food, if it has to taste good, it should first, the color of the food should look good. Then only it is believed that it will also taste good. For that, there is a saying that you should always drink a coffee in a brown color mark. It would be really taste amazing. And silver color cars are less prone to accidents. It's because it is easily visible on the road. Even in the twilight, you can easily identify the silver color cars. And then, the most controversial colors till now are black and white. You can ask me why? It's because scientists all the time prove that white is a mixture of all colors and black is the absence of all colors. Whereas our painters always believe that white is the absence of white is the absence of all colors and black is a mixture of all colors. And then one should have a right sense of colors to make a wonderful picture. And I would like to bring in the quote of Abdul, APJ Abdul Kalam who believes that blackboard is sentimentally bad but again it's the one which defines the life of a student. To make it better, every blackboard, blackboard is believed to be sentimentally bad but every blackboard makes the student's life bright. Thank you.